Hello, I'm Leslie Citron, Clinical Professor of Psychiatry and Behavioral Sciences at New York Medical College in Valhalla, New York. I'd like to say a few words about p-values and clinical relevance. It's not uncommon for people to believe that very low p-values imply that the clinical trial result is very important. So, for example, a p-value of less than 0.0001 will often lead people to think that this must be a very important result and I should pay attention to it. Nothing could be further from the truth. Sometimes clinical significance cannot be gauged by statistical significance. In fact, more often than not, highly statistically significant results can occur with very small differences between groups. For example, a person may be randomized to receive drug A or drug B in the clinical trial, and when you look at the totality of the results, Drug A looks better than drug B with a p-value of less than 0.0001 on some outcome. It turns out that the actual difference between the treatments is actually quite small, one or two percentage points of a difference in a clinical trial outcome measure. This is not clinically relevant or clinically significant. Thus, a very low p-value can be achieved even though it not doesn't necessarily mean a very clinically relevant result or a clinically relevant result at all. So what can we do to explain the clinical importance or clinical relevance of a clinical trial result? Well, we'll have to use effect sizes. And effect sizes could be simple, such as a point change in a clinical rating scale, but it's often quite useful to think of an effect size uh, measure that would be more clinically relevant, like number needed to treat. In number needed to treat, we'll know how many patients needed to be treated with one intervention instead of the other before expecting to encounter a patient with the outcome that you desire. So for example, a number needed to treat of three would mean you needed to treat three patients with one drug instead of the other before expecting to encounter that outcome you wanted, such as response. This kind of measure actually makes a whole lot of more clinical sense than saying, wow, this clinical trial has a p-value of less than 0.0001.